Today's topic is, again, on the IRC wall bracing. We have created a new wall bracing calculator. It's free to use, available on our website. We'll look at that. However, before we go straight to the calculator, we do need to start with an IRC wall bracing primer. And if I could ask you all to raise your hands, I'd be able to see how many of you are already familiar with the IRC. I can say that before I began working for APA 10 years ago, and when I was a doing structural engineering design for a private firm in San Diego, I was not familiar with the wall bracing provisions. I wasn't really familiar with the IRC. Um, through my work at the city of San Diego, I still wasn't seeing wall bracing per se. So this was new to me when I joined APA, but I've discovered that it's a great tool to use um, to do a safe design for your residential construction. And because I know many of you are located throughout the United States, this varies quite a bit depending on what your seismic design category is and your wind speed. So what I highly recommend if wall bracing is new to you is to keep that in mind and when you're ready to implement it into your projects is to first of all narrow it down to what is applicable. If you're working in only a certain territory, I know that many of you probably do work nationwide, but if you are really focused in a certain geographic area, that'll help you and that you can narrow down the code to really what is applicable to you. And I discovered through my work with APA in the Southwest, in particular in Arizona, many structural engineering firms use the wall bracing through the IRC as a regular design tool in their work. And upon inquiry as to why they were doing so, they shared with me that they found that it was, once they understood how to apply it, a very efficient way for them to do their lateral design for residential construction, as well as a way to often provide value engineering in the reduction of hardware. So we'll keep that in mind as we move forward. A couple of resources you may be interested in following this session. On our right-hand side is a reference to our website, apawood.org. And here's one particular publication. We have a plethora of publications available on our website on the topic of wall bracing. However, I must point out that many of them are based on an older version of the IRC. And that's another note for those of you throughout the country. Um, in California, we're currently using the 2013 CRC, which is based on the 2012 IRC. You'll want to verify which version of the IRC your jurisdictions are enforcing at this time. On the left-hand side, we have a source or resource that is up to date depending on which code that you are working with. And here you can see a guide to the 2012 IRC wood wall bracing provisions. This was co-published between APA and ICC. It's available for purchase on the ICC website. So many of our publications are free at APA, as you probably are familiar with, but this is quite an undertaking. It is available through ICC, and it has a small fee associated with the publication. The presentation today is based and organized around that bracing book. And there are a lot of slides in today's session. I'm going to go over them very quickly because, again, I just want to give a primer to those of you who aren't familiar with bracing. And on the slides, there are many code references provided so that you can go back to those in the future when you want to remember where a particular code section um, to tell you about the brace wall line spacing, for example. And so as you see here with this slide, it's just showing all of the content that we can cover in detail. We provide bracing presentations from an hour in length to eight hours. So again, it's a very comprehensive topic. If you want to do more training after this, I would recommend that you contact your local APA rep, and they would be glad to assist you in that venue as well.